protests erupted in Venezuela hours after the National Electoral Council, which is loyal to the ruling party, declared incumbent President Nicolas Maduro the winner of Sunday's election. Recibo esta credencial. I receive this credential, constitutional and legal, from the authority in charge of electoral matters in Venezuela, the sovereign electoral power of Venezuela, which has issued a ruling that I accept humbly. National Electoral Council President Elvis Amoroso said that Maduro received 51% of the vote and that Edmundo González Urrutia received 44%. González became the candidate after the government barred opposition leader Maria Corina Machado from running. Edmundo González Urrutia got 70% of the votes in this election, and Nicolas Maduro received 30% of the votes. Machado says her results are based on tallies the opposition campaign received from representatives stationed at about 40% of ballot boxes. The claims of election irregularity have drawn attention from the international community, including U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who expressed his concerns about the validity of the results Monday during his visit to Tokyo. It's critical that every vote be counted fairly and transparently, that election officials immediately share information with the opposition and independent observers without delay, and that the electoral authorities publish the detailed tabulation of votes. In a letter, Argentina, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Guatemala, Paraguay, Peru, the Dominican Republic, and Uruguay shared their profound concern about the vote and requested an urgent meeting before the Organization of American States. But one analyst says internal, not external pressures may be needed to affect change. That I think change, if it happens, is going to have to come within Venezuela rather than from abroad. Uh, and, you know, I don't think this is over just yet. Uh, Maduro doesn't rule alone. Both he and key figures in his inner circle know that he's not going to be able to govern a country in flames. On Monday, Venezuelan Attorney General Tarek William Saab accused Machado and other opposition members of attempting to hack of the country's electoral system. No evidence has been provided. I think we're, we're going to see greater and greater repression in the next few days in Venezuela. Um, so far, we've already seen uh, attacks against Maria Corina's campaign and threats against her person in recent months. Uh, and I think the government's likely to escalate that. On Monday, Panama's president, Jose Raul Mulino, announced a break with Venezuela. The Panamanian government announced the withdrawal of diplomatic personnel from Venezuela and the suspension of diplomatic relations until a complete review of the minutes and the computer system of the vote count is carried out. Bolivia, Honduras, China, Cuba, Iran and Russia have recognized Maduro's victory. But Ramsey notes that other nations in the region are less complacent towards the president. We're seeing governments in Latin America start to recognize that uh, this is not a left-right issue. This is about democracy or dictatorship. Ramsey says the protests in Venezuela now are just a drop in the bucket compared to what's to come. Celia Mendoza, VOA News, State Department.